So 50, about 51, 52 is the average age of menopause. That's 12 months after the ovaries, after the last period and after the ovaries stop producing hormones that have boosted her communication center, circuits and emotional circuits, and, and the drive to care for others and to resolve conflict uh, at all costs. So with her estrogen down, her oxytocin is down too. So until menopause, women are programmed to the, uh, by the interplay of hormones, physical touch, emotion, and brain circuits to care and fix and help everyone around her, mostly in her family. Um, so perimenopause uh, occurs about two to nine years prior to menopause. The female brain becomes less sensitive to estrogen and touching off uh, a cascade of symptoms which can vary from hot flashes to sleep disturbance, joint pains, anxiety, and depression. And testosterone also goes down and so libido goes down as well. So since estrogen um, affects the brain levels of, ser of some of the feel-good hormones like serotonin, dopamine, norepinephrine, acetylcholine, these are all neurotransmitters that control mood and memory brain function is also affected, and this can cause memory lapses, mood issues, and sleep disturbance. So this is a time when hormones support, including estrogen, progesterone, and, and maybe testosterone, and or antidepressants um, may be useful. So human mothers lose the brain circuits for nurturing and caretaking when the kids move out of the house, especially if she is menopausal. But these, signal, these circuits can be reignited um, if, uh, if a woman adopts or they have another child in the house or they're taking care of their grandkids. Now statistics show that 65% of, of divorces are initiated by women in menopause. And what had been important to women, connection, approval, children, and making sure the family stayed together at all costs um, are no longer a priority. On the flip side, women, uh, many women in menopause are hitting their peak. So now that the burden of child rearing is, has decreased, working is extremely fulfilling, and studies have shown that women with high career momentum at this stage of life viewed their work as more central to their identities. And they measured uh, higher in self-acceptance, -accept independence, uh, effective functioning, and rated their physical health as higher during this time. So there are studies that show that estrogen appears to have a protective effect on the brain in perimenopause and menopausal time period. But each woman has to consider their own uh, medical history and uh, family history deci in deciding on hormone replacement. Um, obviously, exercise, nutrition, acupuncture, supplements um, are all good alternatives to hormone therapy.